eight answers are on the board. Here is the question. Name a Disney character who many furries find attractive. Okay, Show me the original Fox Robin Hood. Like to pass or play. We're playing all the way. Okay, we're going to go down the line here. Okay, so next is Nick's Wolf. Nick's, uh, I need a Disney character who many furries might find attractive. Nick Wilde. Nick Wilde, the other, the other one. Show me Nick Wilde. That's it, number two. You guys know a little something about this, huh? Bulls are on the board first. There's five answers up there. Shout it out, audience. What are they? Disney character, many furries find attractive. I hear it. Beast? Simba. Simba, okay. All right. Let's see number three. Beast, yes. Okay, now who? All right, number four. Tolu. Tolu over Simba. Number five, uh, number six. There he is, Simba. All right, let's uh, go number seven. Spark. There were three characters from the Lion King canon on this survey out of eight, which is kind of cool, actually. And finally, number eight. The Butter Balloon from... They're going to play something a skydiver would hate to run into on the way down. Another skydiver. Another skydiver. That would be, that would be fairly disastrous, wouldn't it? Show me another skydiver. Yeah. Good job. I'm going to say airplane. An airplane? Oh my goodness. Okay, this will not end well for the skydiver. Airplane might be okay. Show me airplane! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so we still have number one answer up there. Something a skydiver would hate to run into on the way down. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, helicopter! Slice and dice! Show me helicopter! You got it! Oh. Good job, Oak. They sound like they do. What is it? We're going to say bird. A bird. If bird is up there, you guys steal the bank of 84 points and take a pretty big lead in this game. 44 points and a steal. Show me bird. Yes. Uh. That's number one. Okay, they're taking the lead. 145 to 80. Only one answer left. Any ideas? Three. Okay, I heard a lot of. Number four. Three. Something you crack over. Your skull. Your skull. Oh, do you have experience with this? Maybe. <laughs> Crack it open, your skull. <laughs> that was a good answer. Didn't make our survey, though. Only for strike. Uh, okay, striker, something you crack open. A can of beer. Can of beer. <laughs> All right. Anyone that had a party last night in their room might have uh, had experience with this. Show me a can of beer. Six pack can of beer. Look at that, we have 240 points in the bank. It's going to come down to this. If the Cyberpunk steal this, 80 and 240 is 320. Ooh. They will be over 300. They will win the game. If they don't steal this, the Olo Wolves win the game and go on to the finals. Okay, you guys have an answer? Yes. Okay, they have an answer. What is it? Safe or a A safe. Okay, Ooh. safe. Okay, safe. Back over the safe. If safe is up there, the Cyberpunks have stolen the bank and are advancing to the finals. If not, it's the Olo Wolves. For the win, show me a safe! Yes! Oh. Yes. Congratulations. That was a great game. You know what it is. Very close game. Okay, number four, what is it? I hear window, code, password, number four. Oh, window, it is a window. Okay, so everyone here on the side, let's give, it, let's give the old wolves a round of applause. They played a great game. Name a sign your significant other might be turning into a dog. They grow a tail. They grow a tail. Is that number one? Ooh. No, it's not. Three answers. Two answers can beat that. Uh, see, Marissa, Marissa, name something. Name a sign your significant other might be turning into a dog. They start barking. They I start think. barking. Bark, bark, bark! Show me, bark! Oh, yes. Nice. Number one answer. They start sniffing people's butts. Sniffing oh. people's butts. I know you guys, you guys were all thinking it. All right, can we keep it going? Show me sniff butts. Yes, number four. Only two answers left. Ready, go ahead. Okay. 
Um, they start marking their territory. Marking their territories. <laughs> and like one of the document cycles specifically. If this is up there, 71 points go into Pizza Party's bag. If not, her balls draw first blood. Show me marking territory. Thank you. That number one answer is almost tough, but they got it. Very good steal. Number only one answer left. Number five. What is it? Doghouse. Doghouse. Drinking out of the toilet. Drinking out of the toilet. I didn't hear it. Number five. Living room. That's very good. Okay, that was a good first round. We got 71 for Pizza Party. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Okay, give me Buffy and Xander. Xander's got a very large tail. <laughs> Name something in your closet that only comes out for special occasions. A tuxedo. A tuxedo. Ooh. Number one. Oh, right. I think Xander started us off here. Let's see if we can keep it going. Something in your closet that only comes out for special occasions. First suit. First suit. <laughs> something you might know a little bit about. Let's see. Show me first suit. Yeah. Number two. Very good. Lingerie, whoa! <laughs> she's, she's, her grandma's like, she said that? <laughs> Lingerie! Yes! <laughs> Two answers, three! And we're gonna have to go to the furries for number seven. Shield your eyes, number seven. There we go. Adult <laughs> toys here. Name a kind of chip that you would not want to eat. You, uh, asbestos. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Show me asbestos. Uh, <laughs> Repeat the question. A kind of chip that you would not want to eat. Poker chip. A poker oh. chip. We've been a few of these at the car. Poker chip. Number two. So here's the situation. Amethyst, if you can get the number one answer, you will have control. Paint chip. A paint chip. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. About equally as indigestible as a poker chip. Show me a pink chip. Number four. So you guys have the option: pass or play. Play? Yeah. This this going to come down to this one. So you might want to play. All right. They're going to play a kind of chip that you would not. A microchip. A microchip. Okay. Yeah. If, let's see if that's up there. Took for a minute, but let's see if that's up there. Show me microchip. Yes. That's number one. Oh, we needed that one. That's a big number one. Good job, Frankie. I hear, I hear a very loud cow chip. Number three! Cow chip! Cow chip. <laughs> Name the heaviest item you buy at the supermarket. Frankie. Milk. Milk. The heavy jug of milk. Ooh. Number two. Okay, so number one, Maz, you get control. Bag of rice. Bag of rice, yes. All right, let's see if that's up there. Bag of rice. That's a good answer. Number seven, though, so you have control. They're gonna play? Oh, play. Play, okay. Sorry. All right, shout out to all my fellow Asians out there, a bag of rice, we know that one. All right. <laughs> okay, Buffy, heaviest item you buy at the supermarket, what is it? Watermelon. Watermelon, yeah. A summer favorite, show me the watermelon. You betcha, number three, very good. Okay, let's go on to head cheese. Heaviest item, go ahead. Uh, pack of soda. Pack of soda, yeah, those are heavy. All right, that big old pack, case of soda. Oh, yeah. I think Costco's got those 36 packs or something. Man, goodness, those are heavy. Um, cat litter. Cat litter, okay. Oh. That's a pretty good answer, I think. If cat litter is up there, they have swept the board. It'll be our first swept board of the day. If not, the uh, cyberpunks will have a chance to steal a huge bank for round one. Show me cat litter. I'd like to thank Waldo and Manga. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Shout out to all the cats out there. Name a fursona animal that signifies strength. Phoenix. Lion. A lion. Oh, man after my own heart. Show me a lion. Hey, that's number one. That's true. They're going to they're gonna play. He's the most wussy General rule of three feud. Lion has to be the number one answer for at least one question. Keep that in mind. Okay, we're going on to Scar. Scar, uh, for soda animal that signifies strength. Bear. A bear, I like that one too. Show me the bear. There we go, got number one, number two. 
Okay, pizza party, you got another chance to steal here. I would like to say uh, a, bu a bull. A bull, okay. If the bull, and everyone on the side of just groans, so I think they, they think it's up there, but we'll never know. Nice bull shot. for the steal, 132 points, show me bull! Yes! <laughs> hey, that's a good team over here, wow! 226 already. Okay, six and seven, any ideas? Dragon! I hear, I hear, I, I heard him already, I heard... Deer! Oh. I heard him, number six! Dragon! No one said they had to be real animals, number seven! Of course, of course. If dogs could date, name something a canine couple might do together. Did Take a walk, show me! Take a walk! That's not number one, so Scar, if you can get that number one, you'll have control. Quickly. Sniff each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This came up earlier. Sniff each other. It's up there, but not number one. So, you guys, they're going to play. Okay, they're going to play. Dogs. If dogs could date, name uh, something the Kenan couple would do together. Go out for Italian. Go out for Italian food, okay. <laughs> I think you might be referencing a movie. I can't do I can't think which one. Eat Italian food. It is extremely good. <laughs> All we needed was to eat, eat anything. I'm sure that I'm sure they serve very, very good high quality bones at the Italian restaurants. <laughs> if dogs could date, name something a canine couple might do together. One Make puppies. <laughs> Make puppies. <laughs> he was thinking it. Sure you all were thinking it. If this is up there, they have swept the board again and won the game and we're going to the Furry Feud Finals Fast Money Round. Show me Make Puppies for the win! Yes! Big one here. Name an animal you hope is asleep if you encounter it in the wild. You said? The bear. That's a really good answer. Let's see how many points it's worth. Survey said! There it is! Okay, let's bring uh, head cheese back. Okay, head cheese, so what's going to happen is the answers are going to show up, so I'm going to have you face uh, not the front so you can't see the, the screen. Yeah, that's fine. Back to the audience. Back to the audience, okay. Name an animated movie that served as a gateway into the furry fandom. Robin Hood. Name a junk food that starts with C. Cookies. Name a part of your body that might ache. Knees. Name something you might not do in the morning if you're in a hurry. Uh, brush your teeth. Name an animal you hope is asleep if you encounter it in the wild. A bear. Try again. Lion. Okay. That was really good. <laughs> All right, you gave some really good answers, but was it enough? We will find out. Name an animated movie that served as a gateway into the furry fandom you said. Robin Hood. That is, that is a very good answer. Survey said. You're up over the halfway mark now. Uh, that wasn't number one. What's number one, everyone? Zootopia. Yeah, a little, a little bit more current than that. Zootopia was number one. Name a junk food that starts with the letter C. You said. You said the popular cookies. Survey said. Very good. All right. 129. That one also wasn't the number one. The number one answer was chips, potato chips. Okay, next question. Name a part of your body that might ache. You said. You said your knees. Survey said. Oh. oh only four. That's a tough one. There. The number one answer was head, headache. Oh. And stomach was very good too. So, let's see. We still have a chance here. We need uh, what, 67 points. 67 points. Name something you might not do in the morning if you're in a hurry. You said. Brush your teeth, that's a good answer. Should be a lot of points. Survey said. Oh, oh. Very well, that's good. 164. So the the, uh, the number one answer for that one was actually make breakfast or drink coffee. Oh, so wow. that wasn't even number one. Okay, it all comes down to this. An animal you hope is asleep if you encounter it in the wild. You said you said a lion. Bear was number one. But lion was very good as well. We need 36 points, and you guys have won memberships to BLFC next year. 
I want to see this so bad. Show a survey set! Oh, oh, so close! 187, 13 short. Oh, well, I'll give you, you guys still win the tails. I'll give you five dollars to point two. That is nine hundred and something dollars. Go ahead, hit the page down. Nine thirty-five. Let's give them a big round of applause. That was such a great effort. Oh, cool. Yeah, we give away the membership. But I hope you all had a good time, and we'll definitely be back uh, next year for more free food, more game shows. Thank you all for attending. Have a great rest of your day.